Level 7, Lesson 6. All right, so that's a really realistic depiction of my early morning routine. I'd say really up until like 10.30, that's pretty realistic. Um, or let's say like mm, 9.30-ish. I'd say 9.30-ish. But um, I took the hoodie off because I was burning up drinking that coffee. And my schedule isn't too crazy. I just had like one meeting this morning and then I have another meeting coming up. But on days like today where I don't have like a lot of meetings, I can kind of take my time, you know, getting into the day opposed to, you know, a typical day where I have my first meeting at around 840 in the morning. So maybe I like meditate, listen to some music, you know, read my word, my daily scripture and or, you know, Bible plan that I'm trying to stay more consistent with. Vocabulary, pronunciation and connected speech. Retratar, descrever, representar. Depict. Depict. Representação. Descrição. Depiction. Depiction. Até. Until. Until. Oposto. Contrário. Opposed. Opposed. Ao contrário de. As opposed to. As opposed. To. Diariamente. Diário. Cotidiano. Daily. Daily. Escritura sagrada. Scripture. 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 Ish. É um sufixo. Quando você adiciona ish no final de alguma palavra, está querendo dar uma ideia de mais ou menos. Ish também pode ser considerada uma palavra própria. Por exemplo, I'm, I'm nice-ish. This tastes kind of funny. You don't need to look at it, just eat it. It tastes burger-ish, but not good. You found a place? We found a place. Oh, I'm so happy-ish. All right, so that's a really realistic depiction of my early morning routine. I'd say really up until like 10.30. That's pretty realistic. Or let's say like 9.30-ish. I'd say 9.30-ish. But um, I took the hoodie off because I was burning up drinking that coffee. My schedule isn't too crazy. I just had like one meeting this morning and then have another meeting and then have another meeting coming up. But on days like today where I don't, I don't have like a lot of meetings, I can kinda. A palavra can é bastante reduzida. I can kinda take my time, you know, getting into the day opposed to, you know, a typical day where I have my first meeting at around 8.40 in the morning. So maybe I like to meditate, listen to some music, you know, read my word, my daily scripture, and, or, you know, Bible plan that I'm trying to stay more consistent with. All right, so that's a really realistic depiction of my early morning routine. I'd say really up until like 10.30, that's pretty realistic. A palavra up aqui nesse contexto só está enfatizando until. Então não tem uma tradução. Um, or let's say like mm, 9.30-ish. I'd say 9.30-ish. But um, I took the hoodie off because I was burning up drinking that coffee. Take something off. Tirar. Despir. Put something on. Vestir. Burn up. Up aqui também não é traduzido. My schedule 
isn't too crazy. I just had like one meeting this morning and then I have another meeting coming up. Schedule também é um verbo, significa agendar, marcar. Come up, nesse contexto, significa a seguir, logo a seguir. But on days like today where I don't have like a lot of meetings, I can kind of take my time, you know, getting into the day opposed to getting into the day, começar o dia, as opposed to. No vídeo, ele não falou a palavra as em as opposed to. You know, a typical day where I have my first meeting at around 8.40 in the morning. So maybe I like meditate, listen to some music, you know, read my word, my daily scripture, and, or, you know, Bible plan that I'm trying to stay more consistent with. To stay more consistent with. With, aqui veio no final da frase. Vamos entrar mais nesse assunto em outras aulas. Quando estamos falando de forma natural, é comum usar filler words, que são palavras, frases ou sons que não são necessários. Não afetam a mensagem, mas que marcam uma pausa para mostrar que estamos pensando. You know. Alright. Let's say. But, um. Like é bastante comum. Observe que nesse trechinho temos três tipos de like. Tem o like, que é usado como um filler word, que significa tipo, tipo assim, tem o like, que é usado para comparar, like today, como hoje, e o verbo gostar. Por isso, é difícil traduzir sem o contexto. Também, é normal mudar de ideia no meio do caminho. And, or. Alright, so that's a really realistic depiction of my early morning routine. I'd say really up until like 10.30, that's pretty realistic. Um, or let's say like mm, 9.30-ish. I'd say 9.30-ish. But um, I took the hoodie off because I was burning up drinking that coffee. But my schedule isn't too crazy. I just had like one meeting this morning and then I have another meeting coming up. But on days like today where I don't have like a lot of meetings, I can kind of take my time, you know, getting into the day opposed to, you know, a typical day where I have my first meeting at around 8.40 in the morning. So maybe I like meditate, listen to some music, you know, read my word, my daily scripture and or, you know, Bible plan that I'm trying to stay more consistent with. Inclua no seu vídeo agora uma reflexão sobre a sua rotina. O que você faz que é consistent, typical, not typical in your morning routine? See you next week!